voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand that. Now, stop me if you heard this one before. I consider myself a feminist. Oh, this is completely deja fucking vu. Where have I heard that one before? Oh yeah, like every fucking feminist video that I ever saw. Because I'm pro-equality, it makes sense, it's stupid not to be. If you are not a feminist, then you are a bigot, and there is no in-between. Except for maybe being an egalitarianist, or a humanist, or even an MRA. But there is no in-between. And now, here comes the part where he justifies feminism by using the fucking Holy Bible. Oh, I know I'm holding the dictionary, but feminists treat this as the Holy Bible. This is their own Holy Bible, right here. Feminism means equality. Our dictionary says so. The dictionary definition of feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of the equality of the sexes. You see what I'm talking about? This video is completely predictable and easy to the bunk. Why does anyone not want that? I mean, that's pretty much the goal, the dream. In what way is that a bad thing? It's the fairest, most logical system. Wait, 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 wait. Let's rewind that, shall we? In what way is that a bad thing? It's the fairest, most logical system. Feminism is the most fairest and most logical of systems. Really? Fucking really? I mean, really? How fair and logical can you be when a man gets accused of rape, all of a sudden he gets dehumanized and have his life ruined even after his name is cleared? and the damage would be done, the word rapist will still be hanging over his head. How fair and logical can you be when you throw a hissy fit over an ad that somehow objectify women, and when the company doesn't back down, they deliver a bomb threat? How fair and logical can you be if you still believe that women are still being paid less due to the fact that they are women and you have no problem using children to spread this big fat lie. How fair and logical can you be when the word bossy can offend you? Feminism is far, far away from fair and logical. If anything, it is unfair and completely illogical. You are literally trying to justify an entire fucking movement based solely on the dictionary and not based on the actions that the, in, the, the majority of feminists do. And it should be one that everyone just accepts. I really can't see how something like this is anything other than good. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course you can, because to you, in order to just justify feminism, people just gotta look up the dictionary and be like, oh! Feminism means equality because the dictionary says so. Anyone who dares question feminism is automatically a misogynist. And how it can be causing so many problems and issues today in the 21st century, in 2015. Well, maybe because you feminists complain just about anything, from the debunked wage gap myth to men spreading their legs on the subway station to be considered sexist. Put countless robots on the surface of Mars and yet we still can't grasp that all sexes should be equal. It, I don't get that really. Feminism is treated like a dirty word nowadays. When, when you say it, people conjure images of uh, militant angry mobs. The funny thing is, is that we see plenty of feminists go protesting against the MRAs and even go as far as to pull the fucking fire alarm. They're not there for equality, they just want to push men down and become the, the better people. That's really not the case. Because those who put sugar in their tea are not true Scotsmen. Sorry to say, but having, you know, just removing the extremists doesn't, and I repeat, doesn't mean that your movement is justified. And I think if more people understood that, we wouldn't be having such a problem. People just don't understand what it means. Oh yeah! Because apparently, people oppose feminism because they don't understand it at all. 
why do I have the feeling that you're going to basically judge an entire movement based solely on the cover and then and yet you demand that people look deeper into feminism I have the feeling you're going to do that unfortunately one of the main reasons for that is that there are people who do nothing to to support equal rights they're just there to put down men and call them scum and hate them and call themselves feminists and those people are either fucking stupid enough to think that that's what feminism actually is or they're using feminism as a shield to hide behind. Say, yeah, I'm, I'm not being horrible, I'm, I'm using feminism. Feminism is an accepted movement in the 21st century. Can't have a go at me for it, because I'm being a feminist. You must be new to the whole feminist movement thing. Look, I've been making YouTube videos for quite some time. Like, nearly for years. And let me tell you something. I've made enough anti-feminist videos to conclude that feminism is anything but for equality. You know, those are the kinds of people that are warping what feminism actually is for the wider world. So, in other words, ignore the man behind the curtains! People aren't intelligent enough to actually look into what it is, so they just take what they can see. Ah, 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 ah. Here comes the hypocrisy! You think, oh, they're feminists, they're horrible oppressors. Well, I don't want anything to do with that. Down with feminism. People that say that all men are dirty misogynists aren't really feminists. That's, that's misandry. And dressing up as anything other than that is stupid and irresponsible. The ironic thing is that we don't see that many feminists speak out against other feminists. The only feminist that I can think of that speaks out against other feminists is none other than Christina Hoff Summers. The only feminist that I really, really like. It's not good for actual feminists. Because those, those people, those, those misandrists, they're, they're not helping the actual feminist movement. They're just hindering it. They're making everyone think that all of them are like that. And it's causing horrible, stupid little groups like Meninism. This is the hypocrisy that I'm talking about. Do go on. To, to rise up. And I'm not even going to dignify that with too much time. Anyone who's, who's part of Meninism is a fucking idiot. Oh, oh okay, okay. You complain about how people are not looking deeper into feminism. But yet, you literally judge feminism based solely on its fucking cover. That's it. There's a word for that. You know, there, there's a big fucking word for that. Oh yeah, it's called hypocrisy! And I, I really don't know why anyone would actually associate with that. It's oh jeez, I wonder why. Maybe because it's completely satirical and of course it shows the hypocrisy of feminism. Hey guys, so today we're going to protest at a university for fun. And as you can tell by our signs here and our fedoras, we're obviously 100% serious. Meninists unite! Don't grab it. Well, I was doing the right spot. It doesn't matter. No, it's just it. it just feel weird. We're both not like grabbing it. It, it. It goes like this and shit. Can I have you guys explain to me what feminism is? It, it's an anti-feminist movement. I'm pretty sure this is real. And if it is, then I'm pretty fed up and I'm kind of bad a little bit. If you can't open your legs for a boy, then how can you expect us to open the door for you? <laughs> You're actually objectifying me? You're making me feel like an object right now. Folks, I'm just tired of being body shamed for my extremely below average penis. All oh, sexist! All feminists are sexist! All women are sexist! All women are sexist! All women are sexist. Is it okay? Is it okay? It's okay. She slapped me. If I slapped the girl, I would go straight to jail. Exactly. If I assaulted her, you'd all be pummeling me right now. I would never do that. <laughs> you know what you do to protect us, males? Meninists. Our heroes are here. Yes. Our heroes are yes. here. What? You have ID on you, man? Uh, no ID on me. No ID. No ID. If we were women, they wouldn't ask for ID. Sex. <laughs> 
basically joked that some fucking morons actually believed was real and then ran with it and made it an actual thing. I don't know if, if I'm angry or just disappointed in the human race that that's, that's actually picked up space and people actually wear the hoodies and stuff and women as well. How much do you have to fucking hate your own gender? Your How dare these women support a satirical ideology based on feminism? It's amazing on how many feminists have a lack of sense of humor. It's almost as if being funny is a sin. Yourself to support meninism. It's making rational, intelligent people turn away from feminism because they're being clouded by what this fake feminism movement is. Take the red pill! Take the red pill! It's annoying because it's a legitimate thing. It's something that should be widespread. No. No, it doesn't. Okay? People don't want to join your fucking hive mind. Feminism is great. Feminism is what we should be all doing. The fact that it's turning, like, proper intelligent people, people that would actually accept this, away from it, is not good. You get people like Femin invading a fashion show and attacking the fucking models for being whores or whatever. They they painted stuff on their chest and had a go. But I get that the fashion industry isn't the best place. It, it's, a, it's horrible and it's not nice. But don't attack the models, they're the people you should be fucking helping, not the, the- Why attack them, you idiots? People like the parts of Tumblr that will aggressively generalise all men as dirty misogynistic animals and then go and drool over Chris Hemsworth's abs. That's not feminism! You literally judge feminism as a group of people who hate women, who are anti-equality, without doing any any amount of research whatsoever and yet you shun away people within the feminist community as not true feminists fuck you once again you're just abusing the living hell out of the no true scotsman fallacy Feminism is the belief in the equality of all sexes, and that means male, it means female, it means agender, it means gender fluid, it means transgender. All of them. Yet, ironically, it focuses mostly on women's rights, because that's the most oppressed group right now in America. Women. 50% of the population is oppressed, because you say so. Makes total fucking sense. All of them are equal. Yes, I'm a straight white male, but at the same time, I'm not the most masculine straight white male. And that's something that's pointed out to me quite regularly in less than polite ways. Often quite homophobic and often quite offensive terms. But I want to live in a world where I'm not mocked or attacked for the way I dress or act. Everyone gets mocked for what they look like. Throw some testicles, dude! Because I don't conform to the overtly masculine image that society has deemed acceptable. I mean, I don't have a problem with being mistaken for gay. I wouldn't blame someone for thinking that. I do have a problem when it's pointed out to me in very aggressive and very offensive slurs that do nothing but insult the LGBT community. Words! I just can't understand why anyone would want to live in a world where all genders aren't equal. I just feel like people were better educated in what feminism actually is. You don't want to further educate yourself on what feminism is. The hypocrisy is so goddamn outstanding. There'd be a lot more people in support of it. People hear the word femme and then think, oh no, it's just for women. I, I can't be a part of that. If people were actually told what it is, what it really stands for, then I'm pretty sure everyone would want it. By teach, you mean lie. Unless you're a horrible psychopath. It's got to happen soon before the, the first impression of feminism is misandrists and no one looks past that. Well, I wouldn't blame them because that's pretty much what feminism is in a nutshell. That horrible misconception. If we can get past that, people might actually start taking it seriously. And I really hope we do because it's something that needs to happen. Well, for starters, you know, if you, if you really want feminism to be looking real good, how about for starters you do some fucking research? Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you next Friday. Bye. Love you. Oh boy, I can't wait.
I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.